Hey guys, Uncle Steph here. So why do I advise that people learn not one, not two, but three programming languages? Well, it's because I have three courses, right? Okay, just kidding. I have three courses, well, three programming courses, because when you learn multiple programming languages, it will give you insight into the previous language. So for example, if your first language that you learn is JavaScript, and then you go on and you learn, for example, Python or TypeScript or PHP, whatever it is, except Ruby. When you go and you learn that second programming language, you're going to see concepts, techniques, constructs of, that you saw in JavaScript. You're going to see these same concepts and techniques, if you will, expressed in Python, if, if Python is your second language. And by seeing how Python does it in its own little particular way, it will give you further insight into what JavaScript is doing. So by learning the second language and subsequently the third language, your understanding of that first programming language and in, the, and in this example, this is JavaScript, just for the sake of example, your knowledge of JavaScript will deepen with every new programming language that you learn. So for example, JavaScript has a concept of a variable. So does Python, so does PHP, so does C-sharp, so does TypeScript. But they handle them in different ways and they have different rules depending on the circumstances. There's different data types in the languages. Now they share a lot of the same data types like the primitives, like the ints and the strings and the booleans and uh, the nulls, etc. But there are some nuances. For example, in Ruby, everybody's favorite programming language, all the primitives are actually uh, full-fledged objects. So they come with an array of capabilities that you won't see in other languages. Like, for example, Java has primitive types, but uh, they're true primitives. So you have to wrap them in something else to give them more capabilities that come natural in Ruby, for example. Now... Some nerds may be going, no, no, Java does this now. I don't know. I, don't, I haven't looked at Java in the last two years. I don't program in Java anymore, although I did it a lot. The point being, and the point of this video, is that by learning your second and your third programming language, you're just going to get a deeper insight in understanding of programming in general. So yeah, ironically, by learning Python, you will get better at your JavaScript. By learning PHP you will get better at your Python and your JavaScript. There's nothing special about JavaScript or Python or PHP. I just uh, teach those languages in my curriculum for a couple of reasons. A, because they're very, very popular and widely used. And B, they have their own strengths and weaknesses within the context of what I am trying to teach. Very practical, very uh, rubber meets the road, small to medium size startup type languages. But the same principles apply whether you would learn, say, C++, TypeScript, and, I don't know, uh, Kotlin. The language is not so much important. It's not so important. The languages are not so important. It's much more about just learning a few languages just so you have a deeper understanding overall of programming. Kind of like learning to drive. If you just drive one type of car, let's say you drive, I don't know, whatever, uh, a Nissan or a Toyota, whatever, and you never drive another brand of car, your understanding of vehicles and cars will be limited to that because you're going to see that every car, every type of car has a different uh, profile, has a different feel. So if you're driving, for example, I don't know, an SUV versus a sports car, you'll find that the SUV uh, doesn't handle as well, doesn't go left, right so, so, so well relative to most sports cars most SUVs. But on the other hand, the SUVs are a smoother ride, et cetera, and so on. You get that idea. Same thing in martial arts. What USC taught the uh, martial art world, that uh, having a, a broader knowledge of martial arts, studying different styles, gives you a better understanding of combat in general. So you have to have striking skills, you have to have grappling skills, gi, no gi skills, submissions, et cetera, and so on. Same thing with programming. So you learn different programming languages that have their own strengths and weaknesses. They express similar concepts in different ways. So JavaScript will have functions and the way they handle functions will be different 
to a certain extent, we'll have some differences between that and Python and the way Java handles uh, methods uh, versus the functions. Uh, it's different because, well, JavaScript, Java is a strongly typed language and JavaScript is loosely typed. Anyway, I'm going down a rabbit nerd hole. There you go. That's it. So if you're new to the game or you're just starting out, uh, I would advise take a basic course in uh, whatever language that attracts you. I like the web languages for the reasons I mentioned before, lots of jobs, etc. So start with JavaScript, for example, then jump into Python. And then if you want to do full stack server side, which is a good idea because there's a lot of jobs there, a lot of opportunity there, then I would learn PHP. Just again, with each new language you learn, by the time you get to PHP, which you'll learn in a fraction of the time, by the way, by learning PHP, your understanding of Python and JavaScript will just deepen. Hey, I'm Uncle Steph. I teach people software development, practical real software development based on my decades of experience going back to the 1990s. I also teach people how to monetize those software skills. That's, I think, uh, my emphasis here. I'm always looking at the technologies, whether it be languages and AI and databases and frameworks and libraries. All these things, to me, are just tools to get the job done. And sometimes you want to do it as a freelance developer. Maybe you want to get a job. Maybe you want to start your own software-based business. Everything I teach, by the way, is based on personal experience. If you have any debates about what I said, put them in the comments below. If you like my long hair, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like my long hair, give me two thumbs down. That's it. Thanks for watching the video. Bye-bye.